Hey there, Wannab Indy here coming with another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and hopefully this will be a fun one because uh, let's make things a little bit more visible. And how can we do that? Well, we outline a layer of enemies, so the slime dude and the Mr. Krabs here and whatever you like and then for example this is done with a few mouse clicks but of course if you want to go a little bit deeper this is optional content you can do something like this so as you can see um, the player dude is pretty close to the chest and then he will have a collision and then we just highlight it and like hey uh, now you can open it or whatever and then for example once we're leaving it is gone this is a typical thing which you see in tons of video games and of course we can make that kind of cheaply in game maker also so if you want to know that stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course Alrighty, so this is how the project looks like by the way this is the platformer engine by rupek pretty sweet little bit difficult in a few areas but still very solid in my opinion so what do we do basically we have the things which we want to outline on the layer which are called outline so here mr crabs and the and the bats here are and the slime slime yeah the slime also and then what we're going to do is just cram out our newest thing which is well, the inspector and then this is i guess uh coming from what was it the last two updates so this is pretty fresh then we just go under posterize whereas mr outline outline as you can see boom instantly everything's getting outlined of course this is now a pixel value of course we can change it what kind of color do we give it ah, let's go with the red because why not and then we say like hmm let's make this a little bit bigger so womp 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 okay so this should be good enough on us and as you can see even though the things will uh <laughs> oh that looks pretty terrible wow so <laughs> even though um, this thing is animating um the outline will be nicely around it okay let's uh, get rid of the fever dream here well i didn't expect that so this is the first part so let's say for example once we started uh, everything is getting outlined which uh, showed you so this should be of no surprise so how can we do that with the chest my initial idea was like hey uh, the instances outline layer is on the depth of mine 150 so we just say like hey uh, depth and then minus 150 but that doesn't work so i already tried that uh, we need to manually uh, shift from one layer to the other one so basically if for example here our chest is on this specific layer we need to shift it to the other one and for that there is a thing called layer add instance this is a little bit um let's call it the wording is not pretty good because you think you're adding something to it but actually you're swapping the old one to a new one for example here first parameter is the layer idea so basically we just swap between those two and then the instance here you cannot and i already tried that input an object this will crash so therefore we need to have the id of the instance so let's say for example here from the chest so the code which you're seeing in front of you is actually kind of easy we have a collision event and then if we have a collision so basically it's not no one so here we are returning the id of the player which is then well colliding with the chest then we are swapping to our id to this specific layer so this one on the top left and then else if we have no collision then we are swapping to the completely and pointlessly long uh, word which is this one Com compatibility instances depth minus 100 wow see <laughs> pretty long one so once again hopefully uh, this is not confusing you because it's not adding it's actually swapping and uh, another thing besides that you can just only input an id the instances need to be or the instance in question need to be created in advance so it needs to be there 
to uh, for this to work but besides that that's pretty much it so we can actually check it out and boom let's see wow i'm giving him like a huge <laughs> It's a little bit way too much, but as you can see, with just a few mouse clicks, we can create the outline. And here, we're just swapping from one layer to the other one. And that's basically the whole trick. Not sure how well that is for performance wise, if you're flip flopping between uh, well the layers, but uh, that was for just for demonstration purposes. And hopefully, that will give you an indication of what you can do if you like. And let's now murder Mr. Krabs. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> already that was it from my side hopefully you learned something if not well uh, that's the way it goes <laughs> and see you in the next one have a good one one up indie